Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you my top Mac apps, so here we are. My first favorite application would have to be App Zapper. When you delete an application to the trash, all it deletes is the application itself, not all the files associated with it. If I just drag it in here, it would just delete the application. But when I drag it in here, Look at all of the different things that are associated with it. Just wait. Look at all those. All these different things here are associated with it. We've got the VMware Fusion right here. And this application support is 500 megabytes. So that's a lot of saved space. Uh, my next favorite application would be Clean My Mac. Clean my Mac it just scans your computer and deletes all of the unnecessary files like the caches, logs, language files, universal binaries, uh, system junk, and trash. And it just scans and then you can just click on clean and it'll remove it all right there. Um, you're going to have to type in your password though to delete everything. So, And I just reinstalled Snow Leopard, but before I reinstalled it, I had saved 12 gigabytes um, on like 5 scans. And after I reinstalled, I just did one scan and I already saved 3.67 gigabytes on one scan. So it really saves a lot. And you can buy this application. So my next favorite app is Caffeine. Um, by yourself, it's Mac will dim this screen. And for me, it got really annoying when I was watching a movie. Uh, so you can just get this. It's real. It's free. It's really cheap. I mean, it's free. It's really small. And when you want it not to dim your screen you just click on it and the coffee with the steam it just appears right there and it doesn't require any more memory so it's really small and yep my next favorite application applications would be Microsoft Office 2011 it's really good um it's one of the best word processors that I've used on the Mac so far so I really like it. It's really nice. It's laid out a lot nicer than um, Office Mac 2008 when you had to open up the little dialog box to get to all these controls. So it's much simpler and much more like Office 2010 for Microsoft uh, Windows. So my next favorite app is ScreenFlow, what I'm using right now. It records your Mac desktop. And it puts a picture of you on, like right now, and it records with sound. And you can get that pretty cheap. And I've used I Show You HD Pro before, and this is by far way better. So if you have I Show You, delete it and buy this. Okay, my next favorite app is Right Zoom. If you've ever noticed on your Mac, which you probably have, it's really annoying when you zoom right here. It would probably just like take this window right here when you click on that maximize button and probably maximize it like that. It's really weird. Well, with right zoom, it zooms the right way, like Windows. So, yeah, you can just put that in your login. So, that one's another small app. doesn't take any memory up, really. So, got that. Um, then VMware Fusion. I love VMware Fusion. It is so convenient. Um, it works just seamlessly when you put Windows. You can put Windows XP on it. Put, um, put Windows 7 on it. You can put Ubuntu Linux on it. And you can do anything. It's a really nice virtual machine software. Um, the sound drivers and the display drivers work perfectly with Windows. It's called VMware Fusion Tools, which it installs automatically. So that's really nice. Um, another thing that's really nice, I have n used a bunch of different CD burning softwares on my Mac. And by far, Toast 10 Titanium Pro is way definitely the best. It's really nice. It comes with all these extra applications here. And it just burns CDs really fast, really nice. You can, it does Blu-ray video. If you get a Blu-ray external burner, um, it does data and music. And it's got a bunch of options. And if you don't have any experience, it's easy. And if you have a lot of experience, you can do a lot of stuff with it. So that's Toast and Titanium. Um, comes with a few more applications, like I mentioned. Uh, another application that I really like is the unarchiver it's very nice um it's free it unzips like every single thing that I've thrown at it yeah everything that I've tried to unzip it has yet to fail so 
it's really nice, and I recommend you getting that app. If you want to pass some time, you can get The Sims 3. Really nice. Uh, I got The Late Night, and I also got Need for Speed Undercover and Bejeweled 3. Uh, I'll just show you Bejeweled 3 really quick. It just came out, and it is really fun. It really passes the time. It's super fun. It's going to take a little while to It's really good graphics, much improved from the Doom 2. Uh, I don't know if you're really into gaming, but I am. Um, and it's, it's really fun to pass the time. It makes you think it's pretty fun. It's an ever low. It's. My computer's really slow to make this one. I haven't started it. Welcome back. Jewel 3. And do I have any other good apps? Yeah, my last app would be iWork09. It's just really nice. I really recommend you get it. Even though I have Microsoft Office 2011, sometimes it's more simple. Sometimes it can do more, basically. And it's just really nice. It's It opens up the same way when you open up Microsoft Office. So I really like that. Um, let me show you. It's laid out actually a little nicer, and it's more, it's a lot easier to use. Um, you don't need as much experience. So yeah, that's Keynote, and you can have pages and everything. So yeah, thanks for um watching my favorite Mac apps. Tune in next time and hit that button up there. Subscribe to A U S T N A S H. Alright, bye YouTube.